Hi, family. <laughs> it is so wonderful to see you all again. I know that you didn't expect to see me today, and it has been truly, truly a long time, class. It really, really has. And I am feeling so much better. I miss you all so much. Let me give you a hug. Let me give you a hug, class. <laughs> give you a huge hug. And I have been through a whole lot, but with, with my nerves, my situation, my health situation, but uh, I have been going to the doctor and the doctor did approve for me to start back with doing my videos. I just have to limit the amount of time that I'm on air here. And I see that I have somebody that has come to visit. Hi, say hi to me in the chat. I will try to, I have my keyboard over here. I have to use my keyboard as a mouse. Let me see if I can find my, oops, I was looking for my, uh, my mouse on my keyboard. I'm just going to type hi in the chat really quick. Great. Hi. And I want to thank all of you who have continued to remain subscribed to my channel. Hi, Big Joe. It is so wonderful to see you. Hi, how are you doing? Welcome to Adult Literacy and English Language. Uh, today, I'm going to go over 10 sentences based on the last video that I did about six or seven months ago on 10 sentences that you can use from the words that we learned that you can use in the restroom, in the bathroom. Uh, but first, I want to thank some of you all subscribers who commented on the last video. Posh Kennedy asked me to get better. Thank you, Posh Kennedy. Oseji Sunday, thank you for your comment. Uh, Sharon Para asked me when is the uh, the best way to start reading. Well, first of all, by uh, subscribing to this channel. Hi, Mama Gold, and uh, good evening to you. It, it you must be in a different part of the world to say evening. Uh, it is actually in the morning over here in the United States. <laughs> so, a good evening to you in your area, and um, also Sharon Para. After subscribing to this channel to help you with your reading, I recommend that you start at the first video. You can follow along on this video today. That's fine. But also start from the very first video and go in order. Uh, I have the videos numbered so that you can make certain that you don't miss any important information and read every day. Read on your reading level every day so that you can gradually progress to the next reading level and try to increase your vocabulary words and work on your writing daily. Also, I want to thank Michael Anderson, asked how to join the class. If you would click the bell notification in the upper right hand corner of this video, upper right hand corner over here, I guess your right side might be over there, but you'll see a bell shape. Click on that icon and uh, you'll be notified as I do my videos. And I want to thank Patricia Omovi, Rita Legger, and Nada. And any of you who commented on me while I was um, out for, I, I was away for uh, prior to the seven months, it was probably another six months before that. So it's been like almost a, a year uh, since, since I've been able to get back to doing the videos. And I appreciate you all hanging in there with me and your support. I want to thank all of you for your well wishes and your prayers and for any comments. And I apologize for any comments that I did not respond to. But again, uh, with my nerves, I have a sen had a sensitivity to using the computer and electronics. And I also have an allergy to different metals. So I, I have to use this marker to press the numbers and the arrows on my keyboard to use it as a mouse. So enough of that. Let's go ahead and get started with our sentences. <clears throat> and I'm going to show each of these close up. Okay, the first sentence, will you buy more strawberry scented shampoo? Will you buy more strawberry scented shampoo? And that's that sentence close up. And you see I have a question mark on the end of that sentence. This is the sentence I just read. Sentence number two. My body wash is almost empty. My body wash is almost empty. And remember that you all should be writing these sentences in your reading notebook. 
pause the video at any time if you need more time to write it. And as I show the sentences, try to read them on your own before I read them to you. Sentence number three. The tub is dirty and needs to be cleaned. The tub is dirty and needs to be cleaned. That's sentence number three. And I apologize for any lighting. I have two large lights on, two large lamps on. I, sentence number four, I have a washcloth and a towel. I have a washcloth and a towel. Sentence number four. Okay, just a moment. I'm going to erase these. And I'm going to write the next set of sentences because remember, we're doing 10 sentences today. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do that. Please click like on the video. Thank you so much. And I'm going to buy another one of these little boards. So the next time I won't have to stop and write anything else like I'm doing now. And I hope you all are having a great day today. Just a second. And I hope you all have been working on your reading, writing, and vocabulary during this time when I was not posting. Okay, sentence number, okay, Mama Gold, you wrote on in Oman, so is evening. Okay, that is wonderful. I have to look up to see where that area is located. <laughs> Okay, sentence number five. My toothpaste tastes minty. And I put a period on the end. My toothpaste tastes minty. Okay, and here's that sentence close up. Okay, let me write sentence number six. And it's always nice to know uh, what areas you all are in. If you have any questions for me and if you're able to write the question in the chat, you can write any question and I will do my best to answer it. Now is the time to get your questions answered. Okay. Sentence number Six, please turn off the light in the bathroom. Please turn off the light in the bathroom. There's number six, close up. Okay. Again, you can pause any, you can pause the video at any time when I show you the, the word, the sentences close up so that you can have time to write down the sentence in your reading notebook. Okay. 
Here's the next sentence. Sentence number seven. I like to light, meaning like uh, like a like having the light on from the candle. It says, I like to light candles. I like to light candles. And this form of light means that you're, you know how you take a, uh, um, you have a lighter and you light the wick on the candle. That's what this light means. L-I-G-H-T refers to lighting the candle wick with a lighter. And this word here is like, L-I-K-E. Means like you enjoy lighting the candle. Okay. Let's go to sentence number eight. Okay. So far, I don't see any questions in the chat. And I hope you all are having a great day today. I really miss you guys. And it'll be a lot uh, of a smoother transition next time uh, when I get the next board. I'll probably go to Walmart and buy another one so that I don't have to take time to write additional sentences and the video will be shorter. Number eight, he will take a shower after work. He will take a shower after work. Here's sentence number eight. Okay. Um, have a little bit of room to write sentence number nine, and I hope that you've written all the other sentences on this board so far, because after sentence number nine, I'm gonna to have to erase the board in order to have room to write sentence number 10. And again, this video will upload, this is a live video. So it will be uploaded to my YouTube channel, Adult Literacy and English Language, for you to go back and watch it. Okay, we got another viewer. Welcome <laughs> to the new person who just joined in. Sentence number nine. The children are taking a bath. The children are taking a bath. That's sentence number nine. Okay, and now I'm going to erase this board and write the last sentence. I like erasing the board. <laughs> it's so satisfying. Okay, and sentence number 10, the last sentence of today. And if you are not familiar with any of these words, uh, these bathroom words, then go back and watch my last video. To learn those words first. And then come back and rewatch this video that I'm doing live now to get this a better understanding of the sentences. Okay, sentence 10, he does not shave with shaving cream. He does not shave with shaving cream. That's sentence number 10. And I may end up getting two more boards because I see that it looks better when I write the sentences large. You can see them better. Okay. So 
I hope that you all have enjoyed that video. I certainly have. I have enjoyed spending time with you all again today, class. <laughs> if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Let's give the video a thumbs up. All of you should be giving this video a thumbs up and give yourselves a pat on the back and a clap for such a great job of staying in there and doing really well with improving yourselves. Because every step that you take to working on your reading and your writing, you're going to get to the level that you want to be with becoming a better reader so that you can read more fluently, meaning you can read more faster and you won't be stumbling over words as much as you used to in the past. But you have to work on your reading daily and learn new vocabulary daily and also stay away from people who are saying negative things about your journey of improving yourselves, because those are people who you who you don't want to have a negative influence on you. Hi, Karen Rochester Powell. Good morning. Yes, I am back and I remember you. It is so great to see you again. Okay, thank you so much because I miss seeing you, Karen Rochester Powell. I remember you from that class. We had such a great time. So yes, I am back and I hope to continue with these videos. It's just, you know, I, I won't be able to respond as often as I would like to when you all leave comments. So instead of responding to the comments, sometimes I might put a heart or a check mark uh, to let you know that I've seen it or, but more than likely I will verbally respond to your questions in your comments from the videos in the next video. So don't feel like I'm ignoring you, okay? <laughs> So, and, uh, okay, Mama Gold says I can't read. Okay, we'll start back from the very first video where I'm going over the alphabet. I have all the, al all the videos in order. Okay, all the videos are in order. And yes, we did it. Okay, I understand. Okay, thank you, uh, Karen Rochester Powell for understanding. And um, let me see if I can, can show you... Um, Let's see if I'm able to share. Oops. I'm going to see if I can share my screen. Hold on just a second. So that some things over here keep trying to fall. Ah, let me lay this down. Sorry. Okay. I was trying to show my screen so that Mama Gold could see where to look. Uh, I'm going to try to do that. I was going to show you on my channel where you can look. Okay, let's see. It says share screen. Okay, I hope you all, okay, let me click this one more button. Okay, I'm going to show you where you can look mama gold to find my videos so that you can learn okay so uh, i hope you all can see the screen here okay i'm gonna go to the video okay i'm gonna go to my channel My channel name has a really long, <laughs> has a really long name. This is it here. Uh, I hope you can see my little arrow moving. Okay, I have it right here. This is the channel name. Um, let's see, adult literacy and English language. You have to type in this whole thing, adult, A-D-U-L-T, literacy, L-I-T-E-R-A-C-Y and A-N-D, English, E-N-G-L-I-S-H, and then the word language, L-A-N-G-U-A-G-E. Okay, so you have to type that, and then, uh, and then you have to type that in this search box up here. Um, I'm going to type it from the beginning. Adult. Let's see. 
This is how you get to my channel. You have to type the whole thing there. Oh, sorry, I misspelled literacy. I have to put an A instead of an S. Hold on. Okay, so you have to type the whole thing right there, adult literacy in English language, and then from there you can either hit enter on your keyboard or click this uh, right there, that little um, magnifying glass. Okay, so then you scroll down. Okay, you see my picture down here. Let's see if I can get this to scroll. And sorry that my uh, my little arrow here is really slow. Okay, okay, let me go up a little bit more. Uh, Okay, let me go up one more time. Uh, sorry, but anyway, you see my little picture here. There's a picture of me right here. I hope you can see it at the bottom. <laughs> and then I click on that, or either you can click on the channel name. And then, see, we're right there. Yay. So now you see right here it says playlist. Playlist, that's P-L-A-Y-L-I-S-T-S. -S. Click on that. And then, right here, let me get the screen to go up more. Let me come bring it down. Okay, so I have different playlists. One over here says uh, uh, reading, text information, Bible reading, learn English, grammar. Okay, there's all kind of videos here. Um, so you, there's information there that you can look at, uh, or another way that you can watch my videos. My videos are all numbered, so you can click videos, V-I-D-E, excuse me, V-I-D-E-O-S. You can click videos, and it will start with the most recent video right here. Let me scroll down. Uh, but if you scroll... I'm guessing if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, then you may eventually get to the first video. Uh, yeah, because I have like, oops, I have over 100 videos on here. So yeah, so you'll just have to scroll down all the way to the bottom until you get to the very first video. Okay, so you see you have to, you'll have to keep scrolling down in order to get to the first video and then start watching the video. Cause see, you see how I'm getting ready to, I'm going over the alphabet in these videos here. Okay, and right here, this is my very first video. So right here where I have the mouse over where it says, I can't read benefits of reading. Okay, so right here, you would click that, you would click that video. Hi. And then this video would come up because you see it says video number one. See right here, it says, I can't read benefits of reading, importance of reading video number one. Okay, so you have to scroll all the way down to the bottom and then start and then go backwards and to in order to watch my videos in order. Okay, so I hope that that has been clear. And hi, Evangelist Brady. Hi, it's good to see you too. I miss seeing you. I hope that you're doing great. And thank you for remaining subscribed to my channel. Let me click the stop sharing button. I'm feeling much better, but I still have to limit the amount of time that I'm on the computer. And um, I was just using this keyboard. And uh, so the videos will be pretty short on this channel. But when I do come on, my videos will be live because it I, it's easier for me to upload that way so that I'm not spending a lot of time on the computer. Okay, Evangelist Brady, since you're just now coming on, I've already gone over the 10 sentences for today, but please go back and watch the video. These are 10 sentences using the words from the last video of words that you can use in the bathroom. Just um, a few of the sentences that you can use, but you can interchange some of the words to fit what your needs are. Okay, and if you haven't already subscribed, 
those of you who are just watching the first time please subscribe and give the video a thumbs up it really helps out the channel and you are welcome mama gold and bless you as well and thank you all for watching so much i will see you in the next one or willing see you next time bye I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good day. Bye. Work on your reading and writing. And remember to put these sentences in your reading notebook. See you next time.